Okay, so in this video, I am going to show you the transcription features on an Android phone. So if you have an Android based phone, whether it's a Samsung or some other phone of such nature, there is an, a feature here that you download and that can transcribe text. So it's very useful if you're in lectures and so on and so forth. So what you do is you just click on the accessibility button at the bottom right hand corner and you press live transcribe and it starts up and it immediately starts to record so you just put, put you just put your phone on the table with the microphone in the direction of who you want to listen to and as you can see when there's a pause it automatically jumps onto a new line or a new paragraph and so on and so forth. Now with all transcription features, the quality and the accuracy is dependent upon the environment in which you are. If there is background noise, the diction and articulation of the person speaking is another important factor. And that is basically it. So at the end of the class, then what you can do is you just simply Highlight the text, select all, and then you go to copy. And then you can paste it into one of your dic dictation and um, text editor tools, note tools. I'm giving an example here of the Google Keep. So I press the plus, and then I simply paste in the transcription of the actual recording. So to use it then, or to set it up, shall I say, what you need to do is you need to go to the Play Store and do a search for Android Accessibility Suite. Since I have it already installed, it's, but if you don't have it installed, you just press the Install button and install it. And the next thing you need to do is to go to your settings button so your settings button can be located by pressing the pulling down on the short shortcut and then pressing the the um the settings and then scroll down to the end to accessibility and then from here yes i know it's a bit of a a bit of a tasking a bit of a pro a bit of a draining process but nonetheless I'll keep going you press on install apps, installed apps, and then you press live transcribe and you tick it on as I have here. And that is basically it in terms of setting it up. Quite different to the accessibility features on iOS. If you're using an iPhone, you can appreciate that the, all of these features are straight out of the box. There's really no configuration. But for Android, you have to download the accessibility suite and if you want to go in then to configure the, the live transcription you press on the you can press on the the language and what I would suggest is download an offline version and again they have multiple languages so they have Italian German Japanese so I am assuming that you can dictate into those languages as well so that might be something of interest if you have if you're on Erasmus and your class is in French, for instance, and you're not good at French, you could transcribe and then transfer it into English by using the translate. But I'm harping on a bit too much. If we press the settings button, we can change the text and we can go into more settings and we can go down to custom words. So if you have a lot of um words that are not in the the shall we say primary english or the plain english if it's um scientific words abbreviations and specifically to your work or to your um subject field then you can add those in um and you can also delete history it's probably useful once you've transferred it copied and pasted it out of the transcription you and pasted it into some other text editor I would recommend for the purposes of um, 
of efficiency just to delete the history every few days and that is basically it I've just shown you the brief overview of it and there we are the live transcribe feature available on Android via the Google Accessibility app and thank you for watching